Live Code makes it easy to create stunning apps that look exactly how you want them. Common tasks include branding and customizing your app, developing a stunning user experience, and bringing your app to life with some simple animation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to organize projects that use images, create a themed button with rollover effect, create a custom background, and bounce a ball around the screen. Start out by creating a new project, which I'm going to save, and then add a substack into which you'll import all of your images. The reason that I've created a substack for the images is that it makes it easy to find the images, update them, and reference them throughout the project. By putting them all in one substack, it also eliminates the possibility of there being conflict later during the development. Now I'm going to create a button with a rollover effect by referencing these images. Create a new blank button. I'm going to open the property inspector for that button, and I'm just going to link this inspector to that object so that I can bring up a second inspector for each of these objects. So I can see that my normal button is ID 1006. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 1006 here. And then a highlight state is 1005. And the rollover state is 1007. So that has created an object, which looks like I would expect it. And if I go into run mode, I have that rollover effect. And if I press it, I get the highlight effect that I would expect. Now I'm going to apply this backdrop image to this card. So if I have a look at the ID, that's ID 1003. If I go into the card inspector for this card, and then go into the background for it, I can put in ID 1003. And that gives me that backdrop. Next, I'm going to create my bouncing ball graphic. I'll create a blank button here. I'm going to call this button ball. And I'm going to use this ball graphic, which is ID 1004. I'm going to make this ball bounce up and down the screen. So to do that, I'm going to create a path that I want the ball to move along. Just create this graphic here. I'm going to call that graphic path. And I'm going to hide the graphic because I don't need it to be on the screen now that we've created it. And then I'm going to go into the code for this button on mouse up. Move button ball to the point of graphic path in five seconds without waiting. Without waiting simply tells live code to go on executing other things whilst performing the animation. And there I have a project that bounces a ball across the screen. It's a completely custom theme and it'll deploy perfectly to both mobile and desktop environments without any changes. I've got a few handy tips here which I'm going to discuss in more detail on the resource page that accompanies this video.